That when times set change, so must we. That the new time requires new response to new challenges. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Welcome to another edition of the program as you answer the call. I am your regular host, Binta Magaji. The fight against coronavirus is still on. Respect the COVID-19 protocols to stay safe. Now to the program. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has achieved another major milestone in the implementation of Hajj Savings Scheme in Nigeria as the Commission continues to unveil and introduce the scheme to Nigerians in different parts of the country, with Lagos providing the platform for a week long sensitization campaign for Muslims in the Southwest. What transpired during the launching of the Hajj Savings Scheme is the trust of our spotlight segment. Also in the program, we have our regular segments such as the Nakan News Diary, which features the activities of Nakan chairman, key functionaries of the commission, and other stakeholders. These are more shortly. Stay with us. Every Muslim is a potential pilgrim. To make the Hajj possible for the Ummah, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Narcon, is running a Hajj saving scheme through Jai's Bank. The scheme allows depositors to gradually save for the Hajj over a period of time. Registration into the Hajj saving scheme is ongoing for all Muslims. Muslims wishing to perform Hajj can be enrolled into the scheme through the following outlets. Narcon offices across the country, state pilgrims welfare boards, agencies and commissions, any branch of Jai's Bank in the country. Enrollment can also be done directly by logging into dedicated sites for the scheme. Let's participate and support the Hatch Saving Scheme for better Hatch services. Thanks for being there. We begin the program with the news diary as presented from our studio. The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has held a series of sensitization campaigns on Hajj saving scheme for stakeholders and imams in the six states of Southwest Geopolitical Zone. The states are Ekiti, Ogun, Oshun, and Lagos. During the exercise in Oshun State, the state governor, Boyega Oetola, described the Hajj saving scheme as a dream come true for a majority of Muslim Umar. The governor was represented by the Commissioner for Home Affairs, al Din Lawal. He gave the assurance that the state government will support and ensure the successful implementation of the scheme in Ocean State. In Ogun State, the Deputy Governor Haji Anoe Mat Salako Oedele said the state government under the leadership of Prince Dapo Abiodun will continue to support the scheme, saying that its introduction was designed to help intending pilgrims finance Hajj with ease. She said the governor is happy with the present leadership of Nakon for bringing the initiative to fusion, advising that effective measures be put in place by Narcon and Jai's Bank to safeguard the savings of depositors. In a related development, on Wednesday the 16th of December 2020, the sensitization campaign took place in Ado Ekiti, Ekiti State. The state governor, Dr. Faye Mikayode, who was represented by a senior special advisor on religious affairs, Alaji Ayo Ade Jinadu, extolled Nakon for its leading role in establishing the Hajj Savings Scheme, saying it will solve the problem of rising cost of Hajj, thereby giving the less privileged the opportunity to finance the Hajj without depending on government or disposing the property. Hajj officials have been advised to continue to work harmoniously with one another in order to serve pilgrims better. The commissioner representing North Central, Hajia Halima to Jibril, stated this when she led officials of the Abuja Nakon Outreach Office on a courtesy call to the FCT Pilgrims Welfare Board. This was on Thursday, the 17th of December 2020. 
Haji Halimoto said it is only when staff are committed and work hard in synergy that Hajj operations can be conducted smoothly. Responding, Director General of the FCT Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Mohammed Nasir Malam, appreciated the visit, promising that the board will leave nothing to chance when planning for its Hajj operations. The commissioner also visited the Abuja site where Nakon is constructing hotel and clinic with funds from Hajj Development Levy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, if you're just tuning in, the program is As You Answer the Call, a public enlightenment presentation on the activities of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakhon. On Sunday, the 20th of December 2020, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakhon, ruled out the Hajj Saving Scheme in Lagos State. The ceremony is part of plans designed by Nakhon to solicit and rally around public support for the scheme. Stay tuned for the next segment spotlight as to provide you details of the Lagos State event. Don't go away. Gross. On Sunday, the 20th of December 2020, Lagos State became the second after Kano State, where the National Hatch Commission of Nigeria, Nakan, unveiled the Hatch Savings Scheme. The idea is to acquaint the public, particularly Muslim Ummah, about the scheme and as well rally them round to participate in it. And he has done it to the best and to the delight of the Muslim Ummah. The arrival of the Lagos State Deputy Governor, Dr. Kadir Obafe Muhammad to the venue of the launching of the Hajj Saving Scheme in Lagos signaled the commencement of the ceremony. The unveiling in Lagos was done under the chairmanship of Professor Dawood Shutu Noibi, while Lagos State Governor Babajide Samwalu, represented by his deputy, Dr. Kadir Obafe Muhammad, was the chief host. They are even trying to bring... Inaugurating the Hajj Saving Scheme, Lagos State Governor Babajide Samwalu said the introduction of the Hajj Saving Scheme in Nigeria is a demonstration of the commitment of stakeholders to ease Hajj for Nigerians. The Hajj Saving Scheme being launched today, one has been informed, was conceived by National Hajj Commission of Nigeria to avail Muslim Ummah the opportunity of saving enough money over a period of time or years so that when the money mature, people it can facilitate their traveling for Hajj, which as we know, is the fifth pillar of Islam. This lofty idea being implemented in collaboration with Jaez Bank is a welcome development and could not have come at a better time. While reiterating the benefits associated with the Hajj Saving Scheme, Governor Samuolu calls on the Muslim Ummah to support the scheme. He then extolled the management of Nakan for the various initiatives introduced to improve Hajj operations in Nigeria. Amal Zekulai did not mention some of the initiatives that he discussed with us. At Marina, the governor was there, I was there, the other commissioner, Omar Piaz was there, Alaji Jebe was there, where he mentioned some of the initiatives they are trying to do on those issues. They are even trying to bring Saudi officials to Nigeria so that they can vet everybody here locally. By the time they get to Saudi, they can just walk in seamlessly. So we thank you very much for those initiatives and we pray that Allah will make it easy for you. The governor further thanked Nakon for launching the program in Lagos State. The launching of this scheme. Making his remarks, chairman of the occasion, Professor Dawood Noibi, appreciated the National Assembly and Nakon for introducing this scheme, saying the concept will attract social inclusion. So the scheme that we are launching today helps to achieve social inclusion in respect of the, those Muslims who would otherwise not have been able to perform the Hajj as well as provide the opportunity for a financial ex inclusion for Muslims who, are, who would have been otherwise excluded because they would not invest their funds in anything that is not Sharia compliance. 
Professor Daoud Noibi encouraged Muslim Ummah to actively participate in the Hajj 7 scheme in order to make it successful. I urge that we all gathered here today participate actively both in mind and in soul and in spirit in all the activities that we have come here to observe and to be part of so that the launching of this scheme would be a huge success which it deserves to be. There's still much work to be done. Speaking at the event, Nakon chairman al Zikro Lakunle Hassan said the choice of Lagos for the launching was deliberate. The choice of Lagos for launching of the scheme is not a mere coincidence. But the decision deliberately taken because of the historical of the historic and special status of Lagos as the first departure center in the southern Nigeria for the elite of Muslim pilgrims to Saudi Arabia. The second reason is its role as the center of commerce and host of largest concentration of prospective pilgrims in southern Nigeria, many of who are in search of dependable and comfortable payment options. As we mark today's milestone, I wish to commend all the state Muslim Pilgrim Welfare officials for their dedication and hard work in always trying to find common ground and arriving at implementable solutions on issues that concern Hajj management. al Hajj Zikru's last speech captured the many benefits that Hajj Savings Scheme will provide Nigeria and Nigerians. The operationalization of the Hajj Savings Scheme is an historic milestone in our long work towards self-financing that will win us from depending on the scarce government resources which can be utilized for provision of infrastructure and other social services in the country. At the core of the scheme is a developmental approach that seeks to liberalize payment, build value chains, and overcome the infrastructure deficit. We reaffirm our optimism that high savings scheme will leverage on these opportunities. It will also address the issue of poverty and inequality in the country. It will also set up a chain of benefits and domino effects in the following ways. One, protect intending programs against potential fosters, as you know. The traditional saving method mostly used in rural areas is fraught with a lot of risk and hardship from our others. Number two, intending bringing no longer need to sell off or dispose their properties or life savings to fulfill their religious obligation to the owner. Number three, it will provide reliable and accurate data for effective and efficient service delivery. Number four, it will enhance advanced planning for accommodation, feeding and airlift operation. The Nakon boss stressed the need for all stakeholders to show commitment for the successful operation of the program. With the launching today, we are now at the end of the first phase of our mission, but our work is far from over. There's still much work to be done. Let's not falter and let us not tire, for the price is within our reach. Let us in the same spirit of unity and solidarity take forward the op operationalization of the high seven scheme. I want to assure the Nigerian prosperity premiums or subscribers of proper supervision of their savings and maintenance of a queen process through information technology that ensure a first come, first serve basis. There were remarks by Lagos State Commissioner for Home Affairs, Prince Anoifi Olarewaju, Managing Director Jais Bank, Hassan Usman, Chief of Staff to Ogun State Governor, Afola Bisaliu, and the coordinator of the Hatch 7 scheme. Dr. Liu Tanko, among others. I wish to encourage our people to tap into the great opportunity provided by the scheme to immediately register with the Jais Bank PLC to start contributing so that in the fullness of time, the money will have grown and readily available for the contributors to perform the arch obligation without much ado. The seed we are planting today shall germinate into a tree capable of transforming the economic development of Muslims in this country. On our part as a bank, we are committed to this journey and we are ready to support it with best-in-class technology infrastructure 
as well as self investment management practices. Your Excellencies, I bring you the best wishes and felicity of the Governor, the Government, and good people of Ogun State, and to retreat our commitment to supporting the Hatch Scheme and indeed any other initiative of NACOM that is meant to enhance the spiritual upliftment of our citizens. The part of the requirement, the major requirement for anybody who is having child bank account, automatically he can be migrate, he can migrate, or they can use the information of that child bank he or she is having to open the hard saving scheme. Otherwise, you need all the requirement for opening a conventional account for now. Soon after the launching, registration of prospective depositors commenced. I just want to say thank you to the Jays Bank and the National RJ Commission for this uh, laudable um, program because this will give a lot of Muslims out there to to have um, to be able to go for the Hajj. Inshallah, Inshallah, go help me well, well because I don't get like a million once, but this one, small, small, small. So far, we have been working. I see the small, small money, then I'll transfer to the bank. It's not Rasul Salah to go make her. And inshallah, I'll be part of it. The ulama, who are strategic stakeholders in popularizing the Hajj saving scheme, have this to say. All of the uh, Aima and the ulama agree with uh, the concept of the Hajj saving scheme. And it is also very easy, you know, for the people to participate in. So it makes the job easy for the ulama and for the, uh, you know, imma to include it in their khutbah, to include it in their, you know, uh, da'wah and enlightenment programs. We must be enlightening them, telling them in our sermon, Every day, someone, uh, every day, every day, uh, someone, and in weekly, someone, when we are having the khutbah, after khutbah uh, of Juma, we let them know that your money is not lost. Pay uh, as, as much as you can, and Allah will reward you, and Allah will enrich your pocket so that you can pay uh, in earnest and then you go on Hajj, inshallah. The launching of the Hajj Savings Scheme in Lagos State is part of NACON's strategic awareness plans in rallying public support for this scheme. Already, the Commission had in October this year launched this scheme in Kano State. Plans are underway to unveil Hatch 7 scheme in two more states anytime soon. You're still watching as you answer the call. Coming up next is Making the Hajj. Many supplications are recommended for pilgrims in the course of Hajj or Umrah. The prominent one is the Talbiya. What does Talbiya stand for? When and where are pilgrims expected to recite the Talbiya? And in what manner? Tonight on Making the Heart, Sheikh Hamis Suleiman answers these and other questions. He begins by explaining the meaning and significance of the Talbiya. Because you are answering the call made by our father, Nabi Allah Ibrahim, when Allah said, Wa'adhan fin nas, proclaim among mankind to come to them for the Hajj. So that announcement, then you say, La Baika, I answer, I answer, I answer the call of my Lord. La Baika, Allahumma La Baika. That's the meaning. I answer the call of my Lord. La Baika, La Sharika, Lak. Oh, my Lord, I proclaim and I answer your call. You have no partner. 
إن الحمد all thanks والنعمة all favor لك is for you Allah all mulk and power belongs to you لا شريك لك there is no other object to be worshipped except you alone this was you are proclaiming you are announcing your belief in the monetism of Islamic uh, monetism when are pilgrims expected to begin reciting the talbiya in the course of Hajj or Umrah in what manner should the talbiya be recited? Talbiya, from the right, that, right from the time you put on your ihram, and it's recommended that if you do labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mug, la sharika, I'm do it about five times, you pause, then you do salat in Nabi, then you pray for yourself, for your country, for your people, for your leaders, then you continue again. What are the different ways in which the talbiyah should be recited by male and female pilgrims? Men should say it aloud, but females should say it with their low voice. But although they should say that they will be hearing it, not inside. No, la 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 la. And not that somebody will be saying it and you'll be following it. No, everybody should engage himself or doing his own. Must pilgrims be chanting the talbiyah in all the locations where heart rites are observed? We're everywhere. The only step you stop is the intent of Zulahijjah. When you are the first day you are going through your Jamara, when you are the Jamara, then you change it to Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Walillah Alhamd. That's where you change it. But throughout, even when you are in uh, Arafah, you are in Munzalifah, you will be saying it. Although you are advised to be saying other things, that if supplications, as I said earlier, La ilaha illallah, wahda'u la sharika la, la'u al-mulk, wa la'u al-hamd, wa huwa ala kulli The same thing, what you are saying in like, Talbiya is the same thing you are saying here, but in another form. Sheikh Hamisu Suleiman urges prospective pilgrims to ensure that they take advantage of the weekly enlightenment programs in their states in order to acquaint themselves with the Hajj rites and the different supplications to be offered while performing the Hajj. Every Muslim is a potential pilgrim. To make the Hajj possible for the Ummah, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NARCON, is running a Hajj saving scheme through Jai's Bank. The scheme allows depositors to gradually save for the Hajj over a period of time. Registration into the Hajj saving scheme is ongoing for all Muslims. Muslims wishing to perform Hajj can be enrolled into the scheme through the following outlets. NARCON offices across the country, state pilgrims welfare boards, agencies and commissions, any branch of Jai's Bank in the country. Enrollment can also be done directly by logging into dedicated sites for the scheme. Let's participate and support the Hatch Saving Scheme for better Hatch services. MashaAllah, up next is the quiz. Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was, name the two Hatch landmarks mentioned in Quran chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. The correct answer is Kaaba and Mukamu Ibrahim. The winner is Bakari Ibrahim from Ibadan, Oyo State. He provided the answer ahead of others. Bakari Ibrahim will be contacted on how Nakun will reach him with the prize he won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 Naira cash prize. This is part of Nakun's effort in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week. And the question is, and proclaim the Hajj for mankind. Name the surah and verse of this phrase in the Quran. I repeat, and proclaim the Hajj for mankind. Name the surah and verse of this phrase in the Quran. Text your answer to the number shown on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. Before we round off the program, we take some messages from our viewers. <laughs> Buhari Garba from Zaria, Kaduna State, sent in the first message tonight. It reads, My family and I are benefiting from your program as you answer the call. We are proud of Nakon for this tried. The second message came from JSM number 0704-548-4611. It says, Assalamu alaikum. My appreciation goes to Nakon management and all its staff. 
We thank you for all your initiatives on Hajj management. You too can send a message through our mobile number and other social media platforms. Remember, you can stop the spread of coronavirus by complying with all preventive measures. Let's support our government in the fight against coronavirus. That's it on this edition of the program as you answer the call. Join me same time next week for another package. Good night and thanks for watching. <laughs> لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك